Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be another reviving old palettes video and this is quite old. I am using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. I am really, really excited about this. This series is just get ready with me's using older palettes because palettes get forgotten about very quickly on YouTube. So if you wanna see the other videos, check out the playlist. I will link it in the description box and in the cards. And yeah, original Too Faced Chocolate Bar. Let me know, does anybody still even have this palette? This was my Pan That palette a few years ago. so. I've used it a lot and I've recently used it a few weeks ago and it's still working great. I've had this palette since about 2017. I didn't even get it when it first came out, but I'm a big fan. So yeah, check out the playlist if you wanna see more videos. I will list all the products in the description bar and let's get started. Something I never talk about in these videos, but I do put in the description box, is that I always use the Milani Eye Primer. And so I've already put it on. I like to let it sit for a few minutes before I put on eyeshadow. Something I usually always do before I start the video is I set it down with a cream shadow, but I thought I would go ahead and do that now. So I'm gonna use white chocolate from this palette, and that's how I hit pan on it, was doing that with this. and. I think I wanna do an all matte look. Wow, this mirror in here is really, really dirty. <laughs> um, so when I do an all matte look, I like to set my eye primer a bit more than if I was gonna use shimmers. If I use shimmers, I only set like from here to the crease, but because I wanna do an all matte look, I'm gonna set everything down. So I don't know, it'd just be really repetitive, which is why I never talk about this part, but I've had a few people DM me on Instagram recently what I do about eyeshadow that creases, and yeah, if I use a small amount of the Milani Eye Primer, let it sit for a few minutes, and then do this, I really don't have any issues. So yeah. Um, okay, like I said, I wanna do an all matte look, even though I think the shimmers are really good in this palette. I do wanna start, I think I wanna start with Strawberry Bonbon actually in the crease. And okay, side note, can we just talk about how cute my nails look? I'm so impressed with myself. I did these little ghosts. I think it's adorable. This was so easy, by the way. I just used my regular nail polish brushes and I did order some nail tools, but they're not here yet. So I used a bobby pin to make the little eyes. So. FYI, if you wanna try nail art and you don't have any tools, like a dotting tool or anything, try using a bobby pin or also a toothpick. I've done that also. So I am using strawberry bonbon in the crease. So yeah, I'm kind of doing a mix of much older palettes like this one, and I did the Morphe Jaclyn Hill, but then I've also done some other palettes that are more from like the last one to two years. So it's not a super pigmented shade, but I like it for that. Um, I'm gonna go with Salted Caramel. This is more of a warm brown. This one is really good. Definitely probably one of my favorite shades in this palette, really. And so I'm putting that just a bit lower. And I'm very curious if you guys still have this palette, because this was so talked about for a while, and I have to say, it is one that people kept talking about for years. I kind of Googled some videos using this palette and I found videos as far back as I think it came around out around 2015 2016 but I still saw videos back in 2017 where people were still doing tutorials on this palette and that is when I bought it is 2017 so it really it was talked about for a while I have to give Too Faced credit for that and I like it I did once own I think I owned all of the chocolate bar palettes and I had the Sweet Peach palette, and I've decluttered all of those except this one. Um, okay, I'm gonna go with a little bit of Milk Chocolate. Yeah, I think it's still a good palette. This, I'm kind of just going here. A little bit in the outer corner. I'm going for kind of a diffused all matte look. We'll see, hopefully it works out. I've never actually done the look I'm attempting with this palette, but I guess we'll find out. Um, let's see. I want to use Cherry Cordial all over the lid and kind of have it diffuse up into these colors. That's the goal. 
So I'm gonna use this flat brush by Kala. This is from Shop Misse. I like this one a lot for packing on matte shades. And so I have a lot of palette requests from you guys for this series. Several people have said the Tarte Toasted palette, so that's one I wanna do as well. And then my other one that I get a lot of requests for are more Natasha Denona palettes. The last one I did was for the Natasha Denona Glam palette. So I'm definitely planning more for Natasha Denona, but I'm trying to switch it up. And yeah, I thought this would be fun because this, this is a pretty old palette, not gonna lie. Um, I don't own, I wish I still had the original Naked palette, but I got it when it first came out. And that was my favorite palette for many, many, many years. But it did eventually go bad because, yeah, I got it when it first came out. And a few years ago, I think around 2017 is when I ended up getting rid of it just because the shadows were just not performing as well as they once did. But I think this palette is still working very well. And I like this burgundy kind of matte shade. I think this is definitely a fun fall look. Not gonna lie, I like it. I'm gonna mix salted caramel and strawberry bonbon together and kind of help blend this situation here. I like these kind of looks, but they can be a little hard to blend when I just do like a darker matte all over the lid and then kind of blend the other colors into the crease. I mean, I feel like it's really nice kind of fall look though. So let's just do a little bit more. I may have to go back in a couple of times to build up the lid shade and kind of see how that goes. But I like it. I think it's nice. So I think I'm going to kind of go back and forth with this process for a little bit. But yeah, I think that will be the eye look. So I will do that and I'll be back. Alrighty, I cleaned up the fallout and I didn't do winged liner. I do realize this could be blended, you know, a little bit better, but it's fine. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I put on the No Pore Primer from AOA and I'm gonna use a foundation that is newer to me but has been around for a while. It's the Urban Decay Stay Naked. I just bought this in 20WY and I've only used this once but I remember a few years ago when this first came out, this was getting a lot of hype. People really loved it. So I only wore it once since I bought it and I want to film a haul. But yeah, I don't know. The, the one time I wore it, I wasn't blown away, but again, only used it once, so can't give too much just based on that. But I'm curious if you guys have this one or have tried it because I remember for several years, this Urban Decay Foundation was very, very popular. And I've also heard really, really good things about the concealer in this line also. I do think it looks nice. It's just, I don't know, it's not blowing me away. But if we're going old school, gotta use Tarte Shape Tape. The other one that used to be talked about way before this was there was the Urban Decay Concealer that they don't have anymore, which I did not like that one. I can't remember what it was called, but it was so drying. It made my under eyes look horrible. I like Tarte Shape Tape, but as you can see, I don't put on a lot. I think it's, I actually really like it. I think it's a good concealer. And then also there was, way back for many years, was the MAC concealer, the one in the glass jar. I didn't like that packaging, but I actually really liked that concealer. That was my favorite for a very, very long time. Another concealer I, I used to love is the Maybelline Fit Me. That was my holy grail for many, many years. I haven't used it in a while, but I definitely liked it. And I was trying to think of what face powders people were using all the time. Um, definitely, I remember the Laura Mercier. That was 
very popular <laughs> for a long time. And also, oh, that RCMA one, the RCMA No Color Powder. I've actually never tried that one. Let me get my brush. I'm still gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury because I am still working on this in a project pan and I do wanna finish it. I like it, but like I say in every one of these videos that I've been using this powder, I like it. It's just, you know, it doesn't really blow me away for the price. Oh my gosh, my brush is shedding again. That's so, I feel like that only happens when I'm filming. <laughs> um, and Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. This is an old school product too, actually, but people, when I first heard about it, people set their whole face with it, which is not what I do. I use it just for my under eyes, but yeah, I mentioned this in my Sephora VIB sale recommendations video. I love that powder and I keep saying, but yeah, it's the only one I use on my under eyes because it actually keeps my concealer from creasing, which is crazy, but it works. So why mess with anything else? A bronzer though, I figure if we're going Too Faced, the Chocolate Soleil, this was so popular for so, so long. So I figure let's go with this. I have actually finished one of these before in the past and I repurchased this. I'm trying to remember when did I repurchase it? Um, a few years ago in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty when it was 50% off. I think that's when I bought it again, but I like it. I do. Now my hair is like shedding everywhere. It's ridiculous. For blush, I'm going to go MAC because that was the most old school thing on YouTube definitely was MAC because in the beginning days of beauty videos on YouTube, when I started watching way back in like 2009, MAC is definitely the brand that was most talked about. And I still like a lot of MAC products. I don't buy their products very much, but the ones I have, I do enjoy. So I'm got here, MAC Melba. Beautiful, peachy, neutral, really like it. I have it in this like little magnetic palette here. This is also a MAC blush. And then this is from Kalon Cosmetics, which doesn't exist anymore, sadly, but it's a good blush. <laughs> um, yeah, I really like Melba. I think it's beautiful, peachy, but not too peachy. It's still fairly neutral as far as blush goes. Yeah, let us know what some of your old school favorites are. I'm very curious. It's crazy how much things have changed, you know, in the beauty community for sure, as far as the brands that are talked about. But definitely, especially if I think for people that don't watch YouTube, I think MAC is still one of those brands that just like everybody knows about it. It's been around for a long time. They've got a lot of shade ranges for pretty much all their products. So, you know, can't complain too much about that. I like that blush. Highlighter, Mary Luminizer. Gotta do it, gotta do it. The other highlighters that used to be very popular were again, those MAC mineralized skin finishes and I once had quite a few of those. And I liked those, but some of those I will say were chunkier than others. They definitely were not all created equal. Some of them were not the best. I still like Mary Luminizer though. Beautiful, beautiful. And finishing powder, I mean, same old, same. I'm gonna use combination of Hourglass Dim Light and Diffused Light from the Sculpture Palette. Okay, lower lash line. Hmm. So definitely, I think I'm gonna start with this one here, semi-sweet, and see how that goes. I want some of the burgundy for sure too on the lower lash line. 
Yeah, I still like this palette. I am pretty surprised by that because when I used it a few weeks ago, I hadn't used it in I don't even know how long. I don't think I'd used it since sometime last year. So I had a lot of doubts. I thought, oh boy, what's this going to be like? And I really enjoyed the look. I did a look that I've done a lot, which is with these two, marzipan and what is it called? Creme brulee all over the lid with like these matte browns in the crease. With a wet brush, these two shades are really, really metallic. All right, going back into Cherry Cordial, I'm going to put that on the lower lash. I like this. I think this is a fun look. Definitely fall-inspired, but a little kind of a mauve feel. I like it. Alrighty, um, let's do, yeah, inner corner, this one. Champagne Truffle. That's a really intense color, wow. I used to use this all the time as a lid shade, but I don't, I don't like light lid shades like this anymore. This used to be my preference, like these really, really light champagne or pink type colors. I don't really like the way that looks on me anymore. I like a bit darker of a lid shade than I used to. Which is interesting how kind of, you know, tastes and preferences change, but that is an intense inner corner highlight. I like that, alrighty. I think I'm gonna do brows, decide on a lip product, mascara, and I'll be back. Here we are, final look. I really like this. I think this is a fun fall look. I really like this lip color. I am wearing MAC Feels So Grand liquid lipstick. Uh, one of the few reds I have, so I've worn it a lot. And the foundation, I think it's fine. It looks fine, I don't know. I kind of felt the same way the last time I used this. I thought, yeah, it's a, it's a good foundation. It's not amazing, not really blowing me away, but it's nice. I really do like the eye look. I think, you know, the mattes could have been blended a bit better, but that's me, not the eye shadows. I think this is a beautiful palette still. One of the oldest in my collection, but I still enjoy it. I don't plan on getting rid of it. I thought I would have gotten rid of this by now, but nope, still enjoying it. I like the look. Let us know what you think. Do you have this palette? I'm curious. Also, I do enjoy the Too Faced bronzer. Hadn't used this in a while, so I'm happy I used that. And honestly, the MAC blush is still one of my favorite formulas. Really, really enjoy it. So that is it for this video. If you wanna see the other Reviving Old Palettes videos, check out the playlist. I will link that down below and in the cards. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.